Hi everyone, welcome to episode 13 of Behind the Brush. I'm Joy Baker with All About Art Gallery and today I am joined by one of my friends and artists, Stephanie Ingram. Hello. Hey Stephanie, thank you Hi. for coming. Thanks for having me, this is really wonderful. Well, we're so excited to have you here. Um, Stephanie, though she's a relatively new artist to the gallery, she has been coming into the gallery for a very long time. We've been doing custom printing and framing and um, we've just been friends for a really long time. Like, how just, long have you been coming here? I, oh gosh, since the early 2000s when um, Tom and Jerry Moore were running the gallery and then of course I got to meet you guys when he, when he started and this is just a happy place for me. I love coming in here. I love to see all the other artists work and it's just an honor to actually have a piece in here. So. You've mentioned before that it's kind of inspiring to come in and mm -hmm. just look around at all the art. It used to, I, when I had a real job, it used to be my, um, my lunch break place. I would go get my lunch and then I would pull in here and just stroll through and, you know, get inspired and get up close to the art and say, how do they do that? You know, I hope I can figure out a way to get perfect my work and, you know, be able to show in a gallery like this one day. So it's a real honor. <laughs> so, nice. Well, I know that like vintage artwork and music, a lot of those things inspire you today to do the, mm -hmm. the art that you do. Um, but what would you say um, led you to become an artist. Tell me a little bit about your background. So when I went to college, I went to the University of Mississippi and I was a business major and I was struggling um, <laughs> in my classes academically and I just happened to take a class called magazine um, design and I don't know every assignment that I turned in or a project I would get like a hundred back and the professor finally said um, what's your major and I said business and he said why and I said <laughs> Well, that's just what I thought I was supposed to do, you know, and he said, I think you might want to check in and to get in a liberal arts degree and, you know, focus on art. And I said, that sounds a lot like a lot more fun than what I'm <laughs> than what I'm doing now. <laughs> the business part did help, though, you know, the classes. So it helped in the long run. But so then um, so then about 2000, I was finishing a painting class and I had a final project and I painted all the local nightlife and bars and all of my peers and different people around Oxford, Mississippi, they said, this is really neat. You should make prints and try to sell this. So I did. The print quality was not your quality house quality, <laughs> but I ended up getting my first taste of like selling art and like going to galleries and doing signings. And I kind of just, it was really exciting. So I kind of did that. And then, you know, life happened. I had kids and got married and I took a little brief pause from doing art but I got back into it when I took Frank G's class. So Aww, Frank. Yeah, we love you Frank. <laughs> <laughs> so he really kind of inspired me and taught me watercolor technique and then I also took a class um, by a local artist, national artist Cindy Wunsch Bowen. She taught me the whole mixed media process mm -hmm. so I feel like between Frank and Cindy and my original um, creativity. Perfect. So, <laughs> and you work in a variety of mediums. It seems yes. like you've got watercolor, pen and ink, you know, paints, all kinds of different elements in your in your art. Right. Um, so I can't decide on just one thing. <laughs> so that's probably why. <laughs> so so what? Tell me a little bit about what's behind us here. Um, so we've got some. We've got a variety of things. We've got original works. We've got prints. Um, so what's your what's your preferred medium of everything so that we have here? So I love mixed media because I can do what I do here, but in a different way. I love taking um, just random objects and repurposing them and then putting them into a different format, but then also doing my original artwork on top. So I think the mixed media is very chaotic and messy, and that's a little bit like my personality, but <laughs> then at the same time, I can go in and you know, try to control it with my brush strokes and, you know, my details and things like that. So, yeah. And I love music. So, and I love like glamour girls. They're, I don't know. I love Hollywood glamour. It's always been a, just some kind of little interest of mine, but the music thing is like a daily in my life. And so it kind of comes out in a lot of these pieces. Very inspiring. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you have a favorite piece? Um, well, so I do a lot of the guitars on commission or I'll pick my own theme. Like 
a you know a musician that I really like and I'll build around the song I'll build around the record in the middle mm -hmm. and then if it's a custom piece like this one was for my neighbor and her name is Jolene so she of course wanted the dolly vibes and you know I was able to build in her color scheme in her home mm -hmm. plus pull in you know special details like her birthday is intertwined in this painting and a bunch of other little details about her so it can be a very personal process doing those so I, I enjoy every time I do them they turn out different and they're I don't know they're really cool so and I love these because I like to bring out the beauty of like women and all their you know features and things so that that is fun too and I also can build in little details behind yeah, but I so do I can't really decide can you tell like I don't really know like what's my favorite because these are super fun because I pick a song and then I pick the artist and I love to see their lyrics of their music like um, come through mm -hmm. in their faces. So that's fun too. I don't know. Do you ever choose like a certain song or certain lyrics for a particular artist like with meaning behind it? Like um, it's your favorite song by them or So like with the Beatles, like I love Sgt. Peppers. I love the whole album. So I just, of course, when I saw Sgt. Peppers, then I wanted to pull in like what they looked like during that era. So that was actually my very first one of these that I did. I was literally sitting with the songbook mm -hmm. on my back porch listening to the Beatles. And I'm like, you know, and I had a book about the Beatles. And I said, you know what would be really cool? It's to like paint them on top of this. Like, and so I just got pencil out and illustration pens out. And I just started going for it. And then I was like, this might be good for Johnny Cash or yeah. Dolly. And then a lot of some of these have arrived because I've gotten commissions to do it. Mm -hmm. So if people like Dolly was actually one of my first commissions. It wasn't something I chose, but she's one of my most popular. Well, she is popular, but, you know, so it was it's neat to see what somebody else likes and what their song choices are, too. Yeah. Well, it's obvious so. that you put just as much care into something that's a commission as you do to something that just inspires you as an artist. Right. Um, I think I think it's wonderful. We we have printed and framed several of her commissions, and I think it's great because um, people can choose, you know, their special song, the song they got married to, um, you know, whatever, and it just becomes this cool little piece of art that like memorializes, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. So what are you working on right now? So right now I have about three of these big guitars and they're actually, I'm starting to go bigger with them. So they're gonna be way bigger than this. And mm -hmm. I'm working on a Beatles themed one, which is uh, All You Need Is Love. It's gonna be in the center. So there's love, love aspects to it. There's, you know, all the Beatles, the Beatles will be hiding in there. And actually mm -hmm. I even cut up some of my original work oh. and built <laughs> it into the background of the painting so you'll see like both both sets of that and then i'm working on a bob dylan a johnny cash themed one and just commissions if there's anybody out there that you know has the favorite song that they want done this way i love doing that i'm also working on more um hollywood glamour girls to go with this collection so i have a few picked out for that nice. and then i've got a few more artists that i want to do in this genre of stuff too so. So you, as an artist, so you've done like the the booth scene, you sell your prints mm -hmm. online, you're represented by a gallery, um, you know, you've, you've been doing this for quite a while. Do you have any advice that you could offer for maybe someone who's up and coming or maybe in a, a fellow artist like yourself who is maybe feeling uninspired or is just looking for inspiration? Well, like, yeah, so I, of course, I'm inspired by other people's art. <laughs> so I'm, inspi I'm inspired when I come in here, but also, I took a leap and took a class and, and furthered my watercolor, um, you know, medium because I wasn't quite there with it when I first started. I was just still learning. So once I learned that, I just started bringing that more into every piece I did and it, things just got better and better. And then taking, then learning the mixed media and learning decoupage and all that, it was just like the, the sky's the limit. I can just keep going and going. So don't be afraid to try new things and take a class or, you know, go to a thrift store and collect all this <laughs> random stuff and start applying it and gluing and make a big mess with your hands. And, and, and keep one thing that I keep trying to do a lot is, you know, always have a sketchbook handy. Mm -hmm. And so I write thoughts, ideas, and I doodle and draw and um, I'm working at a middle school right now with um, kids, and I love to see that they have their sketchbooks out, you know, at, in the appropriate times, of course. And then, you know, because that is just something that art is a, 
ongoing, you know, hobby and, and mm -hmm. passion. So keep doing it. It will never, it will always be there, you know, mm -hmm. for you. So. so you write in your sketchbook too? Mm -hmm. nice. And sometimes, you know, I, sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night with an idea, so I'll have to grab pen and paper and write it down, mm -hmm. then I can finally go back to sleep. So. <laughs> but thoughts, uh, my brain is always in constant motion, so I'm always, think, I think of things while I'm driving, you know, and just uh, just the most random times. But. Well, I hear that to, to, to get better something and to really love something is to do it every day. Mm -hmm. um, and so having a sketchbook handy would be awesome because even if it's not, even if you don't have time to make a whole drawing, even if you just have time to write like, the idea for your drawing. Right. Um, it seems like it would And I read a lot about musicians. I watch tons of documentaries. I love to know about their life. That way, I can, and then when I'm creating, I put their albums on and I really channel the, the whole, you know, all their songs and everything so about them. So cause that way, to me, it can be personal. Yeah. You know, it can be a personal thing. Well, it's so. an immersive experience at that point mm -hmm. for you because yeah. you're getting to know the artist or the mm -hmm. person that you're painting or even the client that you're painting it for. Oh, I, I bet that there's a pretty mm -hmm. in-depth in process for you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Talking to like, someone. I feel like I know the person or something about who I'm doing this for mm -hmm. by the time I get done. It's a neat, it's, it's, a, it's a really cool experience. That's the awesome thing about working with a local artist is someone that you can interact with on a really personal basis. Um, I know here at the shop when we take commissions for people, you know, we meet here in the shop and you meet the artist one-on-one, -on -one, you talk about, you know, what you want from a painting and that's exactly what we would do if we had yeah. commissions for you. So if anybody's looking to have, you know, your face or your favorite celebrity or musician immortalized, I'll ask Stephanie, give us a call and we'll be sure to set you up. Um, well, Stephanie, this has been really awesome. Oh, thank it's you been so much. Cool to get some insight into your art and what you do, and I'm so glad that you brought this commission in because I hadn't yeah. seen it before, and it's really lovely. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. And thank you guys too for having me. It's it's really great. Well, we are happy to represent you and happy to have you. All right. For anyone who doesn't know, we are all about art gallery and custom framing, and we're located in Hendersonville, Tennessee. You can find out more about what we do on our website, allaboutartgallery.com, or you can find us on Facebook. Um, my name is Joy Baker for All About Art. Thanks again, Stephanie. Thank you. I'll take care. Right, thanks.